Hello, I'm Fred Schneider and you're tuned in to The Weekly Report, a look at news and insight related to programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. A Fallen Heroes ceremony was held outside City Hall on Friday, May 17th to honor those men and women in the armed forces who have died in combat since 9-11. Local volunteers participated by reading the names of these heroes all throughout the day. Sergeant Kenneth L. Ridgway, Specialist Eric L. Toth, Warrant Officer Charles G. Wells, Jr. My name is Kathy Eccles, here Staff honoring Sergeant the fallen Anthony soldiers, L. which Goodwin. my grandson, Corporal David Last Ugger, Corporal is one of them. Marcus um, and just really want to remember, Taylor keep, keep remembering Kaczynski. them. Sergeant Jacob M. Simpson. The Fallen Heroes Ceremony was hosted by Salute Our Heroes KC, a group dedicated to recognizing and appreciating the service of our military personnel. The local chapter of the American Society of Landscape Architects awarded the City Planning and Development Department for two of its streetscape plans. The streetscape plan for Main Street received the honor award for built design because of its success in improving pedestrian access and building an attractive atmosphere. The city's North Oak Streetscape Plan received the Merit Award in Planning and Analysis because of its organized layout that carefully explains the scope of work needed to complete the plan's priorities. Residents interested in learning which city streets will be resurfaced this year may now view a new continuously updated map online at kcmo.org resurface. Resurfacing work began in mid-May with crews set to repair more than 300 miles of roadway throughout Kansas City. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insight. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Parks and Recreation Department. Summer is approaching and to celebrate, Parks and Rec has organized many fun activities to satisfy a variety of interests. For example, middle and high school students are invited to enjoy free and secure nightlife this summer at Club KC. Hosted by Parks and Rec and the Mayor's Office, Club KC provides youth with several free activities, including swim parties, video games, dancing, and basketball. Club KC will take place from May 24th through August 10th on Friday and Saturday nights. For more information, please visit kcmayor.org slash mayor's nights. On Saturday, May 25th, the city's water parks, pools, and spray grounds will open for the season. The city operates two major water parks, the Springs in the Northland and the Bay down south, along with four outdoor pools and 12 spray grounds. To learn more information about our pools and spray grounds, or if you'd like to purchase a pool pass, visit the aquatic section of our website at kcparks.org. Parks and Rec will co-host three services this Memorial Day to honor the brave men and women who serve in our armed forces. The first service will take place on Monday, May 27th at 10 a.m. at the National World War I Museum at Liberty Memorial. Another Memorial Day service will take place at 11 a.m. in the center of Union Cemetery located at 28th Street and Warwick Boulevard. A third service will occur at 11.45 a.m. at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fountain, located at Broadway and 43rd Streets. To learn more about these or other events Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org and click on Calendar, or give us a call at 816-513-7500. I'm Floyd Peoples, Kansas City Fire Marshal with Kansas City Fire Department. Warm weather means more time outside grilling, enjoying time around the fire pit, and relaxing outdoors. But these activities present fire safety concerns as well. Please remember that charcoal or gas grills and fire pits should always be located a safe distance from buildings, wooden decks, and other combustibles. Never store propane indoors. On gas grills, 
Be sure to check the propane gas hose connection is tight and check hoses carefully for leaks. If you think you may have a leak, applying soapy water to the hoses will easily and safely reveal any leaks. Be sure to inspect and clean the tubes and burners of gas grills where spiders or mice may make nests or spider webs. Frequent inspection and cleaning is typically necessary before use. Use only charcoal starter fluids designed for grills and do not add fluid after the coals have been lit. Use gasoline only for its intended purpose as a motor fuel. Never use as a grill starter substitute. When done grilling or using your fire pit, be sure the fire is properly extinguished. Never put hot coals in a trash can or other container. And remember, always have working smoke alarms installed on every level of your home, test them monthly, and keep them clean and equipped with fresh batteries at all times. Know when and how to call for help, and remember to practice your escape plan. This is Floyd Peoples from the Kansas City Fire Department wishing you a happy and safe outdoors. Thank you. While the media has given a lot of attention to the entertainment district curfews, Kansas Cityans should be aware that there is a year-round curfew for those age 17 and under. You must be accompanied by a parent or guardian anywhere outside of your residence 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. on weekdays and midnight to 6 a.m. on weekends. Master Patrol Officer Rick Cartwright discusses some of the curfew issues. When we attend community meetings, we find that the, the public that we come into contact with, they're thinking about their own children and they are in favor of the curfews. They like to know that there's some structure, that their kids have to um, be um, religious to and that they need to be in at a certain time. Otherwise, they're usually looking for trouble after that. You probably remember from, from your own youth that um, nothing good is going to happen into the wee hours of the night. So when kids are usually past any kind of an organized event, then they start thinking on their own and maybe they start thinking bad. So they start doing uh, things like breaking the mailboxes and, and uh, maybe a little drinking and driving. This kind of curbs that entire uh, atmosphere so that they know that they have to be in at a safe place at a certain time. And there are bigger issues, there's no doubt about that, but sometimes those curfew violations are just the tip of the iceberg and that they graduate onto more serious things. Um, not necessarily, of course, uh, part one crimes, violent crimes, but it's just a start and so this kind of nips that in the bud. The curfew discourages many problems such as mailbox destruction, peace disturbances, graffiti, and vehicle break-ins. At the same time, the city has made efforts to provide safe activities for youth this summer. We spoke with Roosevelt Lyon of the Mayor's Office. The city's done a great job of trying to find activities for the children. Uh, last summer, the mayor asked for about 200000 for our Club KC program, which is a summer night program during the weekend. This year, we've doubled that budget. We work with our Parks and Recreation Department on a number of programs for youth during the summer throughout the week. Right now we're still trying to get everybody signed up and registered. Uh, it's, it, these programs work out easier if we get everybody registered up front. Um, the night of some of these um, events, especially our really popular one, which is called Club KC, um, those places fill up really quickly. We reach capacity really quickly, so it's really important to have their card early. Uh, so we're asking everybody to go to our website, which is uh, kcmayor slash kcmayor.org slash mayors nights. There they can register for all of our programs, our basketball program, which is night, night hoops, soccer program, night kicks. We have a volleyball program night called night nets and the most popular is our Club KC. So they can register for all those programs there. Uh, they'll get a card when they go to the community center. Uh, but we, really, we really want them to register early and on time so that we can get those cards ready for them when they come to the door. After the curfew is in effect for the entire city, um, at our sites, at our youth sites, um, all the kids will be given a, a, a wristband that says, um, which indicates that they are coming from a city sanctioned event and going headed home. So far, yeah, it's been really good. Uh, we actually started some radio advertisement this week, um, but we've been kind of advertising this and doing some social media around it for a while. We have a registration process, um, and that's been going really good. We have over 600, almost 700 people registered for the program so far, and we expect that to just keep climbing as we get closer. Shoal Creek Patrol Division is going to conduct random curfew sweeps this summer. If a juvenile is out past midnight, they will be taken to the station. The parent or guardian will have to come get their child 
and their ticket, which could result in a fine of $500. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. In addition to the services offered at the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department, we also offer a variety of services online through our website. Today I'm going to show you how to register online for a food handler or manager training course at the Health Department. To start, go to our website, www.kcmo.org health. There's a lot of information here and we try to make it so you have several ways of getting the information that you need. The easiest way to get to the registration is to go to the drop-down menu titled Online Forms. Scroll to Food Training Registration and click on it. This will bring up the online form with a few simple questions to answer. The reason we ask for a phone number and email address is so we can contact you to confirm your enrollment or let you know if the class you have requested is full. Also, unfortunate circumstances like weather sometimes force us to cancel a class. A good rule of thumb is, if the area school districts are canceling class due to weather, then our training classes will also most likely be rescheduled. During bad weather, please call ahead to confirm whether your class has been canceled or not. For other cancellations, we will try to give you enough advance notice that you can avoid making an unnecessary trip. You can also get to the registration page through the Food Handler and Manager Training Program page. Again, start off on our website, kcmo.org health and select the program page either on the right side under Top 10 Health Department web pages or on the Services, Programs, and Clinics drop-down menu. This page provides you with some excellent information on the training and includes links to more information on the classes, on getting your food handler card, and on the online classes. The link to the registration form is on the right side in the gray box. Once you have completed your online registration, we will contact you to confirm your registration. If you have not heard back from us within a business day, please contact us by calling 816-513-6015 or send us an email at health at kcmo.org. Southwest Boulevard is a popular connection for cyclists traveling to downtown Kansas City. During the summer of 2012, the city added a combination of bike lanes and sharrows from 27th Street to Baltimore Avenue. Southwest Boulevard, often referred to as the Boulevard, is home to Boulevard Brewing Company and numerous local restaurants and businesses. Within Kansas City, it connects the Crossroads Arts District to the west side and continues on to connect KCMO to KCK. The new bike facilities on Southwest Boulevard provide a safe and efficient way for bike commuters to get around the city. Eventually, the facilities will extend from Baltimore all the way to 10th Street in KCK. Changes on the boulevard are welcomed by cyclists. The addition of bicycle facilities on Southwest Boulevard brings Kansas City one step closer toward the goal of becoming a platinum level bicycle friendly community. To learn more about Bike KC, visit kcmo.org slash bikekc. Looking ahead, in observance of the Memorial Day holiday on Monday, May 27th, curbside trash and recycling collection will be delayed one day and city offices and the 311 call center will be closed. Residents who usually have Monday collection will receive the service on Tuesday, May 28th. Residents who usually have Friday collection will receive it on Saturday, June 1st. Neighborhood organizations interested in applying for a Rebuild KC Neighborhood Mini Grant are invited to attend an informational workshop to learn more about the grants and application process. The workshop will take place on Saturday, June 8th from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. 
and will be held at the Southeast Community Center. To apply or learn more about the Rebuild KC Neighborhood Mini Grant Program, please visit kcmo.org slash rebuildkc. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org, scroll to the bottom right-hand corner, and click on the Weekly Report for links. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Fred Schneider. Have a great week!